So at the Kaolak Merlin Hotel, the concept has always been to preserve the natural environment of the Kaolak area. So that has been the goal for my, um, the past generations, since this is a family business, I'm the third generation now, to preserve the natural area. And what they do is that they um, prevent from cutting the original trees, so all the trees in the hotel are at least 50 years old. And we also try to have a sustainable water source for them by having a water treatment plant within the hotel. So all the hotel wastewater would then be treated and then be watered back onto the trees in the environment, in the surrounding area of the hotel. So what this means is that the ecosystem of the hotel and the environment is very complete. Um, by that, is, it means that the, ecos the biodiversity of the trees in the hotel is, um, is the same as any kind of wild area, which means that um, there are some species that we would not have known ever before to have existed here, such as the slow loris, where the slow loris now we have actually found to be in the hotel. It's come as quite a surprise for me. From then on, we have contacted the Love Wildlife Foundation to, um, to come and do a survey at the hotel and also to help us with the preservation efforts of the biodiversity and the slow loris conservation. So by that, after having partnered with the Love Wildlife Foundation, we have um, introduced many programs in order to raise awareness of the biodiversity within the hotel and also to conserve the slow loris population within the hotel. And these are, because these are animals that are in the nature, they are not the pets of the hotel, we have to be very careful to maintain the environment the way it has always been. We have um, set up signs for the guests to be informed about the uh, biodiversity in the hotel and the animals you would find here. And also, um, we have um, trained the staff to observe the slow lorries from an um, from a respectable distance and also to learn about their behavior in order to help with the conservation efforts in the long run. When I first came to this hotel, I found that it's quite uh, nice and lovely with all the trees and biodiversity that you find within the resort, which is not something you always find. There are resources for the animals here, so such as fruiting trees or trees with flowers, uh, trees that have their food source basically. Um, also if you have a lot of good dense trees, it's a place where they can find shelter and find sleep as well. So uh, slow lorises in Thailand and especially the one that you find here in the south have been uplisted to being endangered uh, species here in, well, all over the world where you find them. Um, they are in trouble because people keep them as pets. Also, sometimes you find them on the streets for photos. So it's, it's important to know not to, not to support these type of things. Uh, if you see them, you can always report to the, to the Department of Natural Resources and Parks. But uh, most importantly is to respect the nature, respect the areas that they live, uh, their food source, and help protect it so that they can live longer and be happy in nature.